Many love me, and many fear me because I have the power by way of the Most High to reveal the truth. There is only three degrees. Their made up degrees are not legit. Their 32 degrees is froze. Water begins to freeze at 32 degrees. At 33 degrees they are walking around like dogs. 32 or 33 degrees is not square 90 or 360 degrees is square. Once they become 33 degrees they begin to melt or thaw out. They can talk a little, but their freedom of speech has limitations due to them still being under contract. These so-called black masons worship the so-called white men. They are slaves to the Blue Lodge. Keep in mind black people can never be free under the label black. This is why the so-called white masons don't respect you. A devil named Albert Pike who was a Knights of Templar and one of the founders of the Ku Klux Klan. He worked for the Pope of Rome and the Queen Victoria. This dude was a wicked wizard from the East. Albert Pike who is one of the founders of so-called white masonry for Caucasians in America. When men wished to become masons in the new nation the existing members of the lodge had to vote unanimously to accept the petitioner. If any one so-called white member voted against a so-called black petitioner that person would be rejected. In a letter by General Albert Pike to his brother in 1875 he said, I am not inclined to meddle in the matter. I took my obligations to white men, not to niggas. When I have to accept niggas as brothers or leave masonry, I shall leave it. He said that all black and I quote nigga masonry is clandestine. Clandestine masonry is a term that is used in masonry to describe a grand lodge, lodge, or individual that is not regular or recognized by Caucasian masonry. So, some black masons are slaves to the Blue Lodge, ran by Caucasians. Clandestine is really defined as an operation, which is an intelligence or military operation carried out in such a way that the operation goes unnoticed by the general population or specific enemy forces. Clandestine really means to be kept secret or done secretively, especially because illicit. Clandestine also breaks down to the clan that is destined. The 15th Elder These so-called Caucasians and so-called Black Masons call, African Masonry which is the craft of Amen Ray and Moorish Masonry clandestine. What they are really saying is it's kept secret from them. Only Nubians can be part of the craft. You have to come from the Nubian's womb to be of the craft of Amen Ray. No so-called white man can ever be a real master mason. Really the Moors are the real white men. Albert Pike wrote another letter detailing how the Luciferians would take over the world. Keep in mind Albert Pike was a devil hiding in Freemasonry. They want to make Freemasonry look evil and like it came from the devil. We found this letter. And it reads, the First World War must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the power of the Tsars or Kartsars in Russia who are one sect of the so-called Jewish people and we must make that country a fortress of atheistic communism. Note. Communism is a philosophical, social, political, and economic ideology and movement whose ultimate goal is the establishment of a communist society, namely a socio-economic order structured upon the ideas of common ownership of the means of production and the absence of social classes, money, and the state. In short to sum it up, total world domination. A group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristic in common. He goes on to say, the divergences caused by the agenter, agents, of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be used to foment this war. Really agents of truth, versus agents of religious control. At the end of the war, communism will be built and used in order to destroy the other governments and in order to weaken the religions. Many so-called black leaders were used to promote this without knowing it. Most of them were 32 degrees Freemason. This has already happened, less people go to religious meetings now in days. The Second World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists. Fascism is a form of far-right, authoritarian ultranationalism characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, and strong regimentation of society and of the economy, which came to prominence in early 20th century Europe. 